is to invite the general public to come and share our ideas for telling stories. We've got storytellers, children's writers, drama therapists, art workshop, dance workshop, and people are using those workshops to tell stories in all kinds of different ways. Today I'm sharing traditional stories with the children, but we're adapting them for modern audiences. And the children have a say in how the story ends, and so far we're having great fun. Today's piece is called Welcome to the Shoeseum. It's about a magical pair of shoes that go around collecting shoes that are on their own. No shoe should be left on its own. And then it's about exploring the stories that might be behind how the shoe got lost and what's happened to it. What we do is, is um, begin with art and create a sort of cartoon strip um, in six parts. And then if we have time, we uh, bring that to life. And uh, the workshop we've just done was extremely energetic and uh, lively, and it's been fantastic. Our bodies tell stories all the time. Through gesture we tell stories, or uh, we read body language that gives us emotional backgrounds to people and everything. So actually we're very skilled at reading stories through the body. We're just kind of capsulating it here and experiencing it in a microcosm, I suppose. It's called object theatre in a way, but it's a bit between strictly objects but also puppets. It's still slightly unusual to see a story entirely told without words. And we're not a mime company, but it's just purely told with the objects. Part of what we want to do with Stories to Connect with is to make objects and things that mean something in the children's lives to be part of the story. We really want people to engage with the stories rather than just uh, reading them passively. We've been getting the people that have come to the festival to have a look at how they can create stories and we've been doing this in this particular instance through art. It's been brilliant. I think we've got some hugely creative young people and some fabulous stories so I'm very, very pleased.